Hi, welcome to the walkthrough of RPA G. In this walkthrough, we will learn about the file activities under the system section. So first we'll see how the write text file activity works. The write text file activity writes the specified string or text into a mentioned file. The content overrides if it already exists. So here on the desktop, I have a folder named test folder. So what we are going to do right now is we'll write a new line to a text file and save it to this folder. So to do that here in studio under the property section for this activity uh, in the input field is asking for a file path. So we will copy the folder path uh, of test folder first using shift plus right click select copy as path paste here and we need to give a file name. So I'll give RPA genie dot txt and make sure there are double backward slash in the path. All right. And for the string field, we need to give the line that which you're going to add. So I'll give RPA genie hello world. Okay, click on save and then run the sequence. Now let's open the test folder. Here you can see a new text file has been created, RPG. Now let's open that. Here you can see a new line has been added, RPG hello world. All right, next we'll see how to read uh, the content of the text file using the read text file activity. So we will go ahead and delete this and drag and drop the read text file activity. Read text file activity reads the specified text file. So here in the property section in the input field of the file name, uh, for the file name we will just uh, copy the path of this file. So shift right click, select copy as path, paste it here. Now the output uh, will be stored as a string format and be assigned to a variable, variable called var string, which we then can uh, view in a message box. So we will drag it, drag our message box over here and type var string. So click on save and run the sequence. Here you can see it has read the contents of the text file. Uh, here if we open the text file, here uh, the line is RPA Genie Hello World, which is what uh, got stored in, in this variable and that's being displayed in this message box. So let's click on OK. Right, so now let us go and we'll check uh, how the path exists and delete file activity works. So we will drag and drop the path exist activity. The path exist activity checks if the specified path exists or not. So what we are going to do right now is we will see if this file exists and if it does exist it should delete it. So here I will provide the, uh, uh, the input in the input field we need to give the path. So I will give the path of this particular file. Here. Now the path type is file. It can work for folders as well. So, but in our case, it's file. So I'll select file, and the output will be in the form of a boolean format. So this for this we need to create a variable using Control plus K var path exists so here it, it, it will check if the path exists so the output will be in a boolean format uh, next we will drag and drop a decision so our condition is if the path exists equal to equal to true 
so var path exists equal to equal to t. That means if the path does exist, if this file does exist, then it should delete it. So we'll drag and drop our delete file activity. The delete file activity deletes the file in the specified location. So here we need to give the source folder. Our source folder is a test folder. So we copy the path of the source folder. Next, the contents. Uh, the content is rpgini.txt. So, we type that. Alright, now let's just click on save all and run the sequence. Now, let's open the folder. Here you can see it has deleted the file. So uh, uh, the condition was uh, we need to check if that particular path exists. If it does, in the condition we give, if it does exist, delete the file. So here it had, it had deleted the file. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.